see him turn saxophone. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we, who have been renewed by paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly Maker, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit, through the mouth of our father David, your servant. Why did the Gentiles and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand, and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook and they with and they were all filled with the holy spirit and continued to speak the word of god with boldness the word of the lord blessed are all who take refuge in the lord Why do the nations rage and the peoples utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. He who is throned in heaven laughs, the Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them, he terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. 
The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod, and you shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, he came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus, in speaking to Nicodemus, reminded him of the key importance of being born of water and the spirit of baptism, of allowing the spirit to work in our lives and to direct us and what we do and say. That spirit was with the early church, with Peter, with John, as they were released from uh, prison and went back and continued to encourage each other as they were filled with the Holy Spirit. They continued to proclaim the name of Jesus to all those that they met. That spirit is still with the church in nudging and encouraging each of us to speak boldly about our faith, about our Lord, about how he wants us to take refuge in him and to proclaim him to all those that we meet. That the church may be empowered by the Spirit to share the faith with all the world and for an abundance of good and holy shepherds to lead us, we pray to the Lord. That church leaders will bear witness to the good news of the resurrection and stay true to the mission entrusted to them, we pray to the Lord. That as the apostles put their resources at the service of the needy, so we may support their efforts of the efforts of pregnancy resource centers that provide alternatives to abortion, we pray to the Lord. 
for an openness to the risen Lord's grace so that all Catholics are faithful in living our Catholic faith, especially in fidelity to Sunday Mass and the sacraments. We pray to the Lord. For those suffering from loneliness and anxiety or fear during the coronavirus pandemic, that the Holy Spirit may give them comfort and consolation. We pray to the Lord. That those who are ill may experience the healing power of Christ through the care of those dedicated to their care. We pray to the Lord. For the intention of this Mass, for Charles and Tony Barone, and for our own intentions, united with Mary, the Mother of God, and all the saints, we add in silence. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear and grant these prayers which we ask in union with the Holy Spirit through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all is risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory. 
as they are claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, o, therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and power. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, heart me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, bid me. That with your saints, I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, Defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. <clears throat> 